Breaking news update tonight. The Utah County Sheriff's Office telling us a boy who was rescued from the Provo River earlier this afternoon has unfortunately died. Yeah, officials say he fell near the base of Bridalville Falls. News specialist Brianna Chavez joins us live with the very latest. Brianna, what a tragedy out there. Yeah, Debbie, Dan, absolutely. The boy was rescued, was alive, and unfortunately that really tragic update. We were first told that he was about 10 years old. Now we're officially learning from the Utah County Sheriff's Office that the boy was a 12, 12 years old, was in Utah with his family visiting from Arizona. He fell in the water, was in there for about 30 minutes, rescued about four miles uh, away from where he originally fell. I spoke to one witness tonight. He tells me that it was an emotional afternoon for him and the others who saw it. On a hot, sunny Saturday, dozens are enjoying their day at Bridalville Falls. It's a weekend. Usually we have large gatherings up there. But a few hours earlier, Chaos unfolded. But the waters are moving super fast, and unfortunately, the child was close to the water. A 12 year old boy seen falling into the Provo River. The child was spotted in several locations um, coming down the river. Water's way too high. The river's going way too fast. Jorge Rojas was one of several people to spot the child in the water just a few miles south of Mount Timpanogos Park. When I did see him, he was face down. And going in head first and so I immediately was panicked and we all started screaming. An emotional scene for him and others. I was scared that he we had lost him already. Multiple search and rescue crews and first responders jumping into action. The child was located just south of 800 north in Orem. An Orem fighter fighter able to catch the boy but a rope used to catch them slipped from a Utah County search and rescue crew member. And as he's holding that rope, it burned through his hands. Thankfully, the pair were eventually pulled out of the water. The boy, however, died at Utah Valley Hospital a few hours later. It's one thing to hear it and one thing to see it in person. It's a completely different experience, and you definitely feel the emotion and, and the remorse for the person, but for their family as well. Another tragic reminder. As the spring runoff continues, we're busy right now, that's for sure. To be cautious this season. If the water's moving fast, stay away from it. And we're told that uh, search and rescue crews and first responders moved as quickly as they could to rescue this boy, get him to safety. Multiple people jumping in the water uh, to save him. We were told that the search and rescue crew member who had uh, the rope burns is expected to be okay. But Debbie, unfortunately, a tragic ending to the story. Uh, quick response, though, from first responders. Back yeah. to you. Sad all the way around. Brianna Chavez live for us. Thanks, Brianna.